The member for Corroyt. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak in support of this motion, and I must say I am very excited to do so. Not just as the former Secretary of the Mighty Rail, Tram and Bus Union, not just because I see it as an opportunity to spruik about the union movement and the incredible work of the thousands of Victorian construction union members that they have done to ensure that this project is complete, completed safely, on time and under budget. Two points that I will come back to later on. Not just because this project is an amazing step forward for all Victorians, but because this project has already had such a major impact in the electorate which I represent with the most recent Derrimut Road closing crossing removal. This level crossing removal on Mount Derrimut Road, otherwise known as the new Deer Park station, is a major thoroughfare between Deer Park and Derrimut. Now, I want to paint the picture for each of you about the area. A picture that I don't need to paint for either the Deputy Premier or the member for Sunbury, who have both visited my area and this uh, removal on a number of occasions. And I will reflect on those visits shortly. However, for everyone else, please give me a, me a moment. In Derrimut, we've got roughly 9,000 residents. We also have a major industrial hub employing a few thousand people, primarily locals. In Deer Park, just 3.7 kilometres up the road, we have roughly 18,000 residents, as well as a major shopping precinct, community centres, sporting clubs, you name it. The main road in and out connecting these two areas was none other than Mount Derrimut Road. The removal of this one level crossing has saved members of my community countless amounts of time. Time that can be better spent with family and friends. Now, I can't begin to explain the number of families who have thanked me for this removal of this level crossing. I remember myself driving from Deer Park to Derrimut for a community meeting. This is a drive that you would usually take about six minutes. However, on this occasion, it took me 22 minutes because of the trains. 22 minutes, something that the member for Broadmeadows clearly understands. This hasn't just happened to me once, but on a number of occasions. I am, however, pleased to say that this is no longer an issue for us in Corroyte thanks to the hard work and dedication of the, La the Labor Andrews government. While works continue at the station, temporary access arrangements have been made. The hard-working level crossing removal team, of whom I have met with on a number of occasions and can say they are very diligent and do a great job, alongside Victorian construction workers, are making it a priority to have Deer Park Station complete by no later than the end of this year. When complete, this station will include an air-conditioned waiting room, 150 new and upgraded car parks, a multi-bay bus interchange, pick up and drop off zones, landscaping around the entire precinct, improved connectivity for pedestrians and cyclists, including a north-south connection between both sides of the new station, something that we never thought we would see in Deer Park. The Mount Derrimut Road boom gates were down for up to 60% of the morning peak. This delayed up to 23,000 vehicles along the road daily. As you can imagine, it caused major traffic disruptions on a daily basis to my community. To say that this, good, this project is good is clearly just an understatement. It's bloody brilliant and something that we've needed for a long time. Mm -hmm. It would be remiss of me not to mention the thousands of rail, tram and bus union workers who assisted with this project, mm -hmm. both in the infrastructure space but also near completion. Like at Deer Park Station, works are continuing, however the station is open. Thank you to the Rail, Tram and Bus Union members who have assisted throughout these phases, but especially to the customer service members who assist hundreds of thousands of passengers every single day, whether they be the customer service officers, the authorised officers, you name it, they're there to help you and let you know which way to go when you're at a station. Being the former secretary of the union for the past 10 years, I can genuinely say that rail workers are salt and earth people. They are absolutely brilliant and I have always been proud to stand with them day in, day out, when I was the secretary of the union and now that I've moved into this place. I'm still proud to stand with Vic Sharma and the entire executive and the membership of the Rail, Tram and Bus Union. These workers do an incredible job and are often at the cold face of an angry passenger at the end of a bad day. Thank you to each and every one of you. It is not only the Rail, Tram and Bus Union that should be mentioned, I need to mention the thousands of Victorian construction union members who have done the heavy lifting to deliver these removals, safely, on time and under budget. 
The member for Sunbury and I were visiting the site earlier this year. I think it was March, if I remember correctly. We were on our official visit with the LXR team, and then I ran into some comrades of mine from the CFMEU. I was over the moon and as Antif Anwar, the delegate at Deer Park Station, ran over to me and said, Luba, first of all, he wanted a selfie, but can you come and meet with all the, the men and women and the workers in the, in the shed? So the member for Sunbury and I went off the official tour and in we went into the shed and we sat with the men and women who made that station what it is today. Thank you. It was here that we sat with them and we were proud to do so. As we know, this project aimed at eliminating 110 congested level crossings across metropolitan Melbourne by 2030. As we have heard, we are already ahead on each and every one of our targets. In 2014, after four long and dark years under the Liberal Party, Victorians witnessed the birth of a transformational vision, the commitment to eliminate 50 level crossings. This was, as we know, a brave move. Fast forward to today, and we have not only met this goal, but we have gone beyond it, with a whopping 72 level crossings removed, and are now pushing to have 110 of these gone by the end of this decade, a whole two years ahead of schedule. This accomplishment is a testament to the dedication and diligence of the Level Crossing Removal Project and the Andrews Government, a government which I am proud to be part of. Victoria's Big Build is an extensive project that embraces our state's ambitions for a thriving and interconnected future. This agenda includes a wide range of projects such as the Metro Tunnel, the Westgate Tunnel, North East Link, the Sunbury Line upgrade, the Hurstbridge Line duplication and upgrades to both the Monash and the Ring Road. The Victorian 2023-24 budget reinforces our promise to this transformative initiative, allocating $7.3 billion to ensure the continued expansion of our transport network. As of 30th of July, we have removed 71 and 72 level crossings. Our journey began with a promise of 50. The praise of this achievement does not only belong to the government, but to the Victorians who supported this program across three successive elections. Our constituents recognise that this project is not just about road congestion, it is about the safety and prosperity of the communities. We have witnessed unprecedented population growth in Victoria, and this growth has brought us both challenges but also opportunities. As my good friend, the member for Melton, can attest, and as I mentioned the other week, the Melton LGA was recently named the fastest growing municipality in the country with an average of 58 babies per week born. This means more families are coming to Melbourne's West, settling and growing families. Our infrastructure must reflect this and be equipped for the soaring number of residents. As you have heard, this year we removed the level crossings at Mount Darramont Road by elevating the rail line to reduce congestion and we've opened the new station, creating a safer, better, connected Deer Park. In Deer Park, and for the 23,000 vehicles that travel on that road daily, it is huge for us. In Corroyte, this is one of three projects. We've got Mount Derrimut Road, which is complete, Robinson's Road, which is complete, and I'm very pleased to say that the residents at the other end of the electorate for Hopkins Road are very, very excited about the project they're starting. In finalising, I again want to say what a bold and brave move that this Andrews Labor government made. Last but not least, I again want to thank the Victorian construction unions and the members of the Rail, Tram and Bus Union. We must be reminded that they helped deliver this project safely, ahead of time and under budget. Thank you.